Uh, our first performer at the Sermon Slam tonight. Really happy she's here. She's a poet. She's a visual artist. She's a Torah student. She learns at Pardes if there are Pardes lovers in the house. Let's give some to Pardes. She learned at Hadar if there are Hadar lovers in the house. <laughs> She comes from Allentown, PA. She comes from Denver. She comes from Boulder. Let's give a lot of Sermon Slam love for Doriel Parker. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Uh, God parted the sea. In fact, they told me exactly what to believe. But they told me with my own eyes I cannot see the miracles that God performs for me. But they know not the power of my sight and a vision I had like a blinding light. When God lifted me up out of constriction, delivered my soul out of affliction, kissed my heart and showed me the way, they know not the slavery of my day. Because there ain't no Egypt and there ain't no Pharaoh. It takes place in the masks we wear to put on some show. Breaking our backs to fit into clothes, the sweat of our plucked eyebrows, the dirt under our pedicured toes, the narrowed straits of our bank accounts as the money goes and the debt amounts. They know not the slavery of consumerism, the overstimulation that causes brain aneurysms, the credit card that serves as a prism, separating the creation from its source, causing illusions of desire and divorce, cutting us off from the beauty within, causing us hatred, forcing us to sin. They know not the dangers of plastic, sitting in our cars singing, Mr. Bombastic. Well, let's all get shaggy like shaggy and throw our money away, because that's better than admitting there might be a better way. Mm. Talking about shopping bags, they hang on her arms, but she doesn't realize it causes her so much harm. Harm to the body and to the mind. What she looks for in clothes, she's never going to find. But as for me, if I ruled the world, if I ruled Ooh. the world, we'd all know what it means to be free. And if I ruled the world, we'd all be singing the song at the sea. We'd all be redeemed, released from our vanity chains, given back the power of our own brains to think, to feel, to meditate on the shefa of self-love and the falsity of self-hate. We would all know the magic that God creates as our enemies drown and our masks dissipate. We'd feel the joy, we'd meet the king, we'd wade in the water and we'd start to sing. Wade in the water. Wait in the water, children, wait in the water. Oh, God's gonna trouble these waters. Gonna drown the darkness, gonna bring forth the light, gonna hear our cries, it's gonna be out of sight. We're gonna be redeemed just like our ancestors were, because Yitz got me trying. It ain't just a metaphor. It's the reality of life when you start to see how much better existence can really be. When you let God in, and you can really feel all the miracles we receive every day just because we're breathing, just because we're made that way. Mm. Bef so before you feel like you're about to sink, before you go buy another shirt from Gap Inc., mm. before you let them tell you what to think, mm. remember that God takes us out of affliction, out of illusion, and out of constriction, so that God can really be our true God, mm. without clipot, without the facade. You see, they know not that the exodus, it happens all the time. All you have to do... Is free your mind. Mm. Woo! She's going to be teaching school children in Jewish schools in the United States. I'd say that gives us some hope for like 